for the initial covering of uh, the wings and the fuselage we're going to need a couple of things. We're going to need a glue stick um, to help stick the tissue down initially. Then I've got a solution of 50% um, the Easy Sand glue and water from uh, the Vintage Model Company. I found that works really well. And then a small paintbrush to apply the uh, 50% PVA solution. So what we've got here is uh, we've got the tail plane and I've already cut out a sheet of paper that as you can see is uh, larger than uh, the wing itself and to begin with we take the glue stick and we just go round the edge of the wing like so And then what I tend to do is take the piece in one hand and stretch the paper slightly, not too much, and lower it on. But then I hold my finger in and as you see it keeps it off the other end so I can then just gently stretch it until I push it all the way down and we can then press it down all the way around and then what I tend to do is uh, put some weights on it to hold it flat and uh, give the the uh, glue stick time to set a bit before continuing. While I wait for the uh, tailplane to uh, dry shall we say, uh, I'm quickly going to do exactly the same process for the rudder and fin. Again, just round the outside down there quite carefully because that's quite thin and along the bottom and I'm putting a bit more on this bottom edge because uh, when I come to uh, cut the excess off I'm not going to glue any on this bottom edge because that's what's going to glue onto the fuselage and we don't want too much tissue on it. So there we go. Just noticed a bit of a thick patch there so I'll get that off with my finger. And again a similar process. Just flatten it out really and the same. Press it down and put it to one side. We're now at the point where we need to trim this excess uh, tissue off. Um, but we do need to leave a small overlap so that we can uh, glue the tissue in place uh, more firmly with that 50% uh, solution that I talked about earlier. And uh, the other thing I forgot to mention earlier is uh, whenever I get to this stage I always always put a new blade in my craft knife or in this case my scalpel. It makes cutting the uh, tissue a lot easier and because the tissue can tear quite easily you really must use a really sharp blade for this. Um, the other thing I tend to use myself is a steel ruler and uh, what I do with this is on any straight edges like these here, I hold, put uh, the ruler up against it 
as firm as I can using my thumb to put some pressure on the workpiece and then I can just go down very lightly and cut the piece off and we're doing that we can tear that bit off I get a nice roughly one millimeter even overlap ready for gluing so we'll carry on and do that with the rest of them and when we get to the corner pieces it's obviously no point in uh, using uh, a straight edge so I tend to just do this freehand which is another reason to get a really sharp blade and you can hold the piece down while you go round like so and then you can trim off any more excess if you wish that wouldn't have probably been too much of a problem um, what I also do then is go round with my blade and just put cuts in around the bend to make it easier to fold up and again the second one like so and if, if we miss a bit we can just cut that off and again we go round like so and then that's just about ready to uh, be glued um, while I think about it I'm going to put a nick in these edges here And these and then we can start the gluing process he says not being able to find a bottle of glue so we start off and it's recommended to do this in sections so just maybe a couple of inches and once you put the glue on lift my finger and fold the edge round as you can see that helps smooth the tissue down and it also helps get rid of any excess glue and then we just continue all the way round there we have a partially covered tailplane so we just need to uh, leave that to set for a few hours before we continue with uh, covering the other side 
so I'll be back with you shortly for the second side it's the same process really I go around with the glue stick And again, this glue stick is really just to hold it, the tissue in place while you trim it and before you glue it down. Any excess, try and remove so you don't get any lumps. And again, we lay it down like so. And again, put it to one side for a few minutes. Once you've covered and glued both sides then uh, you end up with uh, something like this. Um, however you can see it's a bit warped. Um, this is because uh, I've actually shrunk both of these at the minute. Um, but it would seem that uh, I didn't quite pin this down enough to uh, keep it flat while it dried. But that's uh, not to be too concerned because uh, all I've done so far is shrink the tissue. So uh, the next stage in this particular bit will be to uh, dope it, which will again wet the tissue and relax it. And then it just means I'll uh, have to uh, uh, put it in my jig better and uh, keep it flat better um, but even if it does uh, still come out warped the, there are things you can do to uh, flatten it out again once it's dried um, so uh, we shall uh, see what happens later on um, I will be covering the shrinking of the tissue and doping um, on one of the wings, the main wings, um, just so that you can see how it uh, tightens up over the actual uh, ribs themselves rather than just these two bits of flat bits shall we say. So uh, we now need to uh, move on to uh, start covering the wings. <laughs> 